Her body feels so warm against mine, and with a sudden jolt, I'm very aware of, part of a part of Sayori, namely two parts, that are pressed up against me. Oh, what? Two parts, huh? Pressed against my chest? That's just her two cinnamon buns. Really, really warm cinnamon buns. <laughs> here and welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies and you guys remember the last episode right right <laughs> well we're just gonna leave it right there because well even though Christmas is over it seems that everything else is back to normal but hey at least now we got a lot of time with Sayori in January well in the new years and all but still you get the gist so anywho you guys know the drill and what time is it it's doki doki time and now we're on a date it seems with sayori in this local fast food cafe whatever this is mm. her eyes whiz over the menu given the abundance of cake bun cakes buns and other sweet foods i'm not expecting her to reply anytime this decade cinnamon buns again no, actually, I think I'm gonna try the sponge cake. It looks so soft and delicious. The genuine excitement on her face is so endearing to see. And to think a girl this adorable is mine. After giving our order to a waiter, I can't help but reach across the table and take her hands in mine. She looks a little surprised initially, but soon rubs my hands with her fingers, smiling shyly. You know, that's something I've always loved about you. How adorable you are. Huh? Like, even right now, you're getting really flustered, aren't you? M me No! <laughs> Come on, don't deny it yourself, Sayori. You, you look DEFINITELY adorbs. Whoa, 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 whoa. It took me a while to realize my feelings for you. Ever since that tickle fight we had back in September. <laughs> oh yeah, the um the first episode. Good episode and man, man oh man, I did not expect that that video to have a lot That's of views. I, I I just wanted to say thank you all so much for for watching it and uh and um I really am happy that you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, maybe it's because of that innuendo joke, or maybe it's both. Let's just say it's both. You guys enjoyed it, especially with the joke and such. Um, you guys can quote me on that if it's clickbait or not, but eh, as long as you guys are enjoying it, that's what really matters to me. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it, and uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy watching my content so far, even right now. So. <laughs> Oh man, I really had a lot of fun making that one, I'll be honest with you. But let's not get ahead to, ahead of ourselves and, well, not talk not much about me, uh, of course, because that's not what you came for. But still, I really appreciate that you guys enjoyed my content so far, so more power to you guys. I love you all. I remember seeing a look in your eyes. We were in a really, well, awkward position, and you looked at me with a look I'd never seen before. Yeah, I remember that moment. Focus, Finn, don't make another another joke because I'm pretty sure... <laughs> what can I say? I'm pretty sure Jake will get me for this one, but... Eh, we resolved it together, so there's there's no harm in that one. I had no idea how to react. It was the first time we spent together outside of school in a while. I was really happy that day. Oops, let me just fix my hat real quick because it's trying to untie itself or undo. Me too. I guess that was the first day of my feelings for you began to bloom. And over the months, those feelings grow stronger. You gave me a bit of food once, and your hands brushed against mine. I remember thinking about how soft your hands felt. Oh, um, if you can't stop thinking about it, why don't you just hold hands? It's not hand looting, because, well, even though they're still not a um, an official couple just yet, but you know what I mean. It's that warmth that really, really um, tells something to you. It, totally, it took me totally off guard. Oh, so that's why you zoned out. 
I was wondering why you look like you were in a trance. I wasn't the greatest at covering my tracks, was I? And you smell really nice too. I remember letting that slip when we were carving pumpkins. That doesn't really make any sense. I had a shower that day. Oh! So that wasn't like a perfume or any scent she's on? Well, I don't care. Uh, sweat smells pretty good, actually. <laughs> don't take that out of context. I don't know. Maybe it's just your natural scent then? Guess that might be it, I guess. A natural scent is not so bad after all. <laughs> Again, don't take that out of context. Man, that makes me sound like a real caveman, doesn't it? At least you're a very handsome caveman. Ah, thank you. Now it's my turn to go red. Finding my weak spot, Sayori grins and opens her mouth, no doubt eager to watch me flail for a change. Thankfully, her moment of opportunity is interrupted by the waiter bringing us our food. Another huge smile appears on her face as the cake is put in front of her. It's not really hard to put a smile on her face, is it? Watching her eat it is a sight to behold. It's almost like she's inhaling it, straight into the bottomless pit that is her stomach. What's the matter, Finn? Compliments making you turn red? <laughs> well, I can take the compliment. I mean, if you're calling me handsome, then I call you adorable. So, yeah, compliments are always good, guys. I mean, well, to each other as well, and even as well from, from one of you guys. <laughs> You know, it was really cute seeing how nervous you were when you warmed up my hands. You were stuttering and everything. And every and something tells me it wasn't because of the cold. Guilty as charged. My master plan worked. <laughs> uh, Sayori be like, It's all part of my master plan. <laughs> I should have known it was all a rose. Then again, I got to hold hands with you, so aren't we both winners? Don't take my victory away from me, Meanie. Not taking it away from you, just sharing it. Is that so wrong? I stick my tongue out at her. I'll give you credit though, the mistletoe plan was pretty flawless. I had absolutely no clue it was coming. It was at this part I was going to say I knew it all along, but like, come on, I shouldn't be a narc because I really do not want to spoil the surprise. Like really, um, I'd say that was the best surprise ever and the best gift from the cinnamon bun herself. Ah, this is why I love you, Sayori. You're 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 just so. <laughs> that was so much to plan, so much fun to plan with the girls. Yuri felt bad, but Natsuki and Monika were all for it. You look absolutely terrified when you saw the mistletoe. Well, duh. It was nerve-wracking enough when we almost kissed before the others arrived. And then I had to do it with three other people watching? That plan almost backfired on you, though. Huh? Well, it was your first kiss too, huh? Right? What? First kiss? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Really? Oh, yeah. Although I had advice from Monica beforehand. On how to kiss someone. Yep. I didn't know you were meant to close your eyes. I stare at her. Even I knew that. I bet Monica had to teach you a lot, didn't she? I'm not legally obliged to answer that. I burst out of laugh. I burst out into laughter. Hey. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I I'm just trying to picture how that conversation went down. Did you ask Monica how to kiss someone? Or were you meant to put your hands while you do it? No, I didn't. I kind of wanted to, though. I had no idea what to do, to be honest, and I was scared that I'd mess it up. You know, being your first kiss at the- Okay! Hmm. First kiss. We're just gonna leave it at that because, of course, I, um, well, seems like my, uh, my question has been answered. Yes, we finally did tier two. Woo! Congratulations, MC. I'm so proud of you. Or me. And the more I thought about it, the worst I felt that I put you in a really awkward s situation. It's not awkward. Come on. I mean, well, kind of is, but at the same time, it's not. 
It's really okay, I enjoyed the kiss after all. Plus, it was my first one as well, so I was hardly a pro. Oh, okay, now that's definitely, well, first kiss. <laughs> really? Really, really. And you know what they say, practice makes perfect, right? Very smooth, Finn. <laughs> Real smooth right there. An hour or so later, we both wound up in my living room. I'm lying on the sofa with Sayori cuddled up next to me. Content as can be. You know, now that we're actually together, what are we meant to do? I have no clue. You're my, go you're my first girlfriend after all. Don't get me wrong. It's really nice to just cuddle up together. But when you think about what couples do together, what comes to mind? Well, uh, pamper each other, cuddles, snuggles, hugs, gloves, whatever. I have to pause and actually think about this. Uh, like, go on dates? Ah, yes, dates. Like that. Just go on dates. Which I guess we technically just did at the cafe. L sorry, Sayori, I'm, I'm just, I'm really just as clueless as you are. That's alright. I guess we... I guess we uh, do have all the time in the world to figure it out. To be honest, I'm perfectly happy just to cuddle up together. Just being with you, no matter what we're doing, makes me happy. Aww. That's how I feel with you too, actually. Does that mean I can cancel the romantic getaway to Paris then? She pokes me in the side. But France is the romance capital of the world. How much money you got to spare, Sayori? Does that include pocket money I spent years ago? Yeah, sure. Maybe negative 200 yen then. Ah, uh, well, stonks. Well, unless the planes are operated by really tired hamsters, I don't think we'll be going to France anytime soon. <laughs> tired hamsters! Oh no, I'm sure Marinette and Adrian are gonna be angry at both of us <laughs> if you really get that reference then yeah <laughs> I'll just leave you guys do that I really want a hamster why what do you mean why the pet what would you call it Stuart why because of that movie <laughs> Stuart little oh yes yep you know that Stuart Little was a mouse and not a hamster, right? Eh, what's the difference? Hamsters taste nicer. <laughs> is it bad that that actually made me laugh? It means your humor is like mine, so take that as you will. Well, I don't mind that kind of humor. Well, any humor counts, especially if it's childish. Eh, I might be stupid or a, um, stuff and all, but still, humor is humor. But unless if I don't find it funny, then... No. That's definitely not a good thing, then. Don't make me push you off the couch. You wouldn't dare. Oh no, 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 don't do that. Oh, I've had a better idea. I sit up and without hesitating begin to tickle her mercilessly. What? Again? The, inst the effect is instant. Sayori immediately begins squirming and laughing uncontrollably. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Not this again! <laughs> That's so unfair! <laughs> you didn't even give me a chance! If I remember correctly, last time it was you who initiated, so here's a taste of your own medicine. He's writhing on the couch, blue eyes shimmering with tears with her involuntary laughter. Okay, okay, I'm <laughs> sorry for what I said about your humor. <laughs> Please, just stop. As I'm a merciful soul, I abate ever so slightly just to give her a chance to catch her breath. Bad move. Sayori lunges forward, pinning me beneath her. This bout of unexpected dexterity totally catches me off guard, and with a flump, my body sinks into the opposite end of the couch. 
<laughs> she wastes no time in dishing out some cold revenge, and within seconds, my laughter and squirming has replaced hers entirely. <laughs> Dang, I did not expect you to <laughs> be able to do that. She brings her, her face closer to mine, making sure I can see how smug she is. Which actually gives me an idea. What? What is it? Darting forward, I plant a desperate kiss on her lips. Unlike with our previous kisses, this time my tongue is involved, slowly pressing against her top lip. I am not entirely sure if that's going to be tier 3 or advanced tier 2 or something like that. There's just some things I really don't know about in this kind of context. Eh, we'll just see together. The effect is immediate. Her hands go from trying to tickle me to slowly linking around the back of my head. As the kiss deepens, she slowly pushes me back down into the couch. Her body falls with mine. After a few seconds, I'm lying down with her body directly on top of mine. My mind is going wild, trying to process exactly what's going on. I only intended for the kiss to distract her, but it's ignited some kind of urge in both of us. Maybe, maybe, maybe this might be at maybe uh something going on with the um with both of them, or maybe their feelings for each other are starting to take over or such, or maybe things are just getting intimate. So yeah, I guess things are getting a little intimate now, huh? <laughs> also, YouTube, please, I swear to flippin' glob. Her body feels so warm against mine, and with a sudden jolt, I'm very aware a part of a part of Sayori, namely two parts, that are pressed up against me. Oh, what? <laughs> Needless to say, the atmosphere is completely charged. Neither of us know how to react. Two parts, huh? Pressed against my chest? That's just her two cinnamon buns. Really, really warm cinnamon buns. The silence continues on, with each pressing, with each passing second feeling like ours. We have the house to ourselves, her body is pressed on top of mine, and there's some kind of primal instinct stirring within the both of us. What, are you gonna go ooga booga? I open my eyes. Sayori? She hastily climbs off me. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to, uh... It's okay, it's okay. It just kinda happened. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I had a lot of fun today, Finn. It's a shame school starts tomorrow, though. I was hoping you wouldn't remind me. Ugh. Ah, school is such the worst. And we'll be getting the results of our December exams back. January could go off one to go one of two ways. We'll be fine, I think. Only one way to find out. Anyway, it's getting late. Want me to walk you home? Sure. And that's a day ended. No, seriously, those two parts pressing against uh, MC's chest is just her cinnamon buns. Come on, guys, don't be, don't be, uh, don't be a horny bunch, or else go to horny jail. I don't have my bat right now, but. You get what I mean. And here we are, back in class. Man, the holidays really whisked by in a flash. Seeing Sayori in the mornings really makes a huge difference to how I perceive the school day. Am I a morning person now? Maybe she really is my sunshine. Just like her poem. Aww, that's, uh, that's real sweet and real smooth right there. She's really made me mushy, hasn't she? Wonder what mom would think. Psst. Oh, well, morning, Emmy. Uh, good Christmas break? So, did it work? Huh? Sayori, duh. Are you guys together yet? Going straight in, I see. Well, are you? Yeah, we are. I knew it. Are you going- Well, I think that's everyone. Oh, uh, ohayou kasaimasu, uh, uh, Sakurai-sensei. As the last student makes their way to their desk, Sakurai puts down the register and stands in front of the class. Hope everyone had a good break. There's a weak, lukewarm murmur. Aw, oh, come on, guys. Got it easy. Your exams were before the, the break. 
I used to teach at a school that had January exams. At least they had a reason to be so enthusiastic about returning. Anyone get anything cool for Christmas? Yeah, mom finally carved, caved, and got me this new pair of running sneakers. Practical for sure. A friend of mine got me a plant. I'm not sure what it is about me screams flower man, but hey, life's full of surprises. Anyway, given I was supposed to start the lesson five minutes ago, let's begin, shall we? Huh. Normally I'd eat outside when it comes to lunchtime. Given how cold it's gotten recently, the outdoors doesn't particularly appeal to me right now. Well, I guess that's how the weather works even though when December's over, it's still cold during January because eh, it's the New Year's, especially me when I'm living in the mountains in the uh, in the city and all that. A lot of uh, a lot of students opt to just eat in their homeroom, especially as the temperatures drop outside. The club room is also a viable choice, and luckily is always free around lunchtime. Over the Christmas break, we suggested eating here in the club room, and despite Monica saying she couldn't make any promises, the decision was pretty much universally agreed on. With my stomach gurgling, I make my way over. Well then, guess it's lunchtime. Yuri and Natsuki are already there by the time I arrive. They're not exactly best friends or anything. Their friendship is much less shaky than it was three months ago. I could tell that Natsuki's thoughtfulness really touched Yuri. Uh, hey guys. Romeo himself has arrived. Natsuki, afternoon, Finn. Monica's not here yet? It's not much of a surprise, is it? You know, given how she has like three, five million extra curricul curriculars going on. The door swings open and Sayori walks through, a cheery smile on her face. Ah, it's always good to see the cinnamon bun. Well, given that, well, we're, we're in love with each other, so, eh, it's always a sight to see. Hey, I'm so glad we decided to eat together for lunch times. Looking back, I'm kind of surprised no one suggested it earlier. Well, it's a new year and a new start. All we need now is... M Once again, the door swings open and Monica waves at us, an apologetic smile on her face. Sorry, sorry. I had so much stuff to sort out. My teacher was talking to me about university applications. Already? But your second year of high school isn't even over yet. Monica sighs and wearily, wearily rubs her temples, pulling out her food. Yeah, I know. It's stressful to say the least. Plus, I'm getting the results of my December exams back soon. Don't worry, Monica. I'm sure you've done just fine. You worked so hard. I'd be inclined to agree. You're a model student, and I know how much effort you put into your studies. Monica smiles at her efforts, but doesn't look wholly convinced. Oh, uh, now that we're all here, I should tell you that we don't have much of we don't have a club meeting today. There wouldn't be much point given none of us have any poems to share. We can hold a session tomorrow though, if you guys are interested. I know we didn't hold too many last semester, and that's on me. Sorry, I had a lot of going on. Well, I can relate, uh, Monica. Well, even though I'm not like the popular kid or a model student at school and such, but with all the hard work you're going through, yeah, I completely understand where you're, what you're going through. So, it's fine, it's fine. No rush, no fuss. Yeah, I'm down for a meeting tomorrow. I'm probably a little rusty, so this is, will be a good chance to get back into it. I turn to Sayori. We could write one together if you like. Oh! Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna write a poem together, huh? By pairs and such? I'm down. I'm still not as good as you, so this is a good way to learn. Ooh, that could be really fun. Tonight? Yep. Well, that's two lovebirds sorted. Works for me. Yuri also nods in agreement. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow then. She finishes writing something down in her planner. I also notice that she's using the pen Yuri got for her got her for Christmas. Well, I'm glad she she liked it, because of course, it's a, it's a, it's a gift for, for Christmas, so he gotta appreciate it and stuff like that. Judging by the sm shy smile on Yuri's face, it's safe to say she's also noticed. 
Monica suddenly stands up, swiftly packing away her food containers. Wait, you're leaving so soon? Yeah, can't really stick around. Need to talk to my parents about the whole university thing. They've been hounding me ever since exam season started. See you guys later. And just like that, she's gone. Free time is foreign for her, isn't it? She really has so much going on. I couldn't fathom being in her shoes. The stress would be too much. Oh, those exams you had to take for university? I don't envy you guys in the slightest. Well, we don't take those exams until third year, but I think Monica has started her prep recently. Yeah, joys of being a first year, Natsuki. Count yourself lucky because you'll be in Monica's shoes before you know it. Wonder how long it'll be until Sakurai starts asking me the same thing. The question lingers on my mind as the rest of lunch break passes by. Well, in that case, I'm already in college, so I only have two years left to uh, to graduate. So that's uh, that's good, I think. As long as I keep my uh, my sanity together and my my um, my game face on for all the studies and such, oh, I'm ready for anything. As the end of the school day arrives, I wander down the corridor towards Sayori's homeroom. Along the way, I spot Yuri leaving her own classroom. Hello again, Finn. Oh, this music. I know I've been talking about Doki Doki Blue Sky's music for like a few episodes, but I gotta say, this is one of the best soundtracks I've heard in a mod for. Well, even though I haven't played that many mods, but still, um, that may change if I play more mods. We'll see. But so far, I'm, I'm really loving the soundtrack here. <laughs> uh, mod dev team, if you're watching this, you really outdid yourselves. Um, Yuri looks away nervously, fiddling with a strand of hair. You, you don't have to, of course. But she stands there, struggling to find the right words. What? It. If you like, would you like to walk home together? Mmm. Um, I don't know. I I'm supposed to wait for Sayori. Couldn't we just walk home together with Sayori? Or, yeah, not vice versa, because really, since me and her are a thing now, so, yeah, I, I guess we should wait for her first. Huh? You want to walk home with me? S sorry, it's a stupid suggestion. I, I don't know why I asked. It's not like I didn't want to or anything. I just didn't expect you to ask. <laughs> Are you sure? I know you normally walk with Sayori, and I wouldn't want to intrude upon that or anything. You're worrying for nothing, Yuri. Why would she mind? The more, the merrier. Well, the more, the merrier. I guess we'll just walk home, just the three of us, I guess, so that's okay. As friends, of course. It's cool, I just I was just on my way to go find her now, so feel free to tag along. Soon after I spot your I spot Sayori in the hallway. She curiously look she looks curiously at Yuri trailing behind me. There you are. I give her a daring peck on the lips, causing her to blush. Oh ha ha! A little bit daring now, huh? A little daring, aren't we? Hey, hey. Ready to walk home? Yuri's gonna be joining us this time, if that's okay. I hope it's no bother. Surprise flashes across Sayori's features, gone as soon as it appeared. Oh, <laughs> sure, that's fine. Although, I can't come with you guys today. Oh? Uh, um, my homeroom teacher wanted me to talk to me about some stuff, so you two go ahead. Uh, okay, I'm not entirely sure if what's going on and such, unless if you have anything to catch up. Or I'm pretty sure it's because of her depression driving me away. It's either that, and I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen. I'll walk with you two tomorrow. Are you sure? Pretty sure we can wait. Yuri nods in agreement. It's no bother. But Sayori shakes her head. No, there's no telling how long it'll go on for. Plus, I think it might be a long discussion. I'll see you tomorrow. Ah, okay then. See you soon. Bye, Sayori. 
It's slightly, it's slightly strange walking home with Yuri. Nothing against her, of course, it's just I'd grown too used to Sayori being there instead. Although Yuri is still fairly shy, I've noticed that she's come out of her shell a little bit, especially since we went Christmas shopping together. Not that I'm complaining or anything, but why did you want to walk home with me today? Uh, well... She looks away and sighs. It's not... Ju not it's just not so easy. I don't push it. If my fight with Sayori taught me anything, it's that you can never tell what demons people are internally battling. Given I still know very well little about Yuri, it's definitely best to err... Uh, what? err uh, on the side of caution. The Christmas period has always been very family oriented, at least for me. For, for as long as I can remember, my parents used to put a lot of effort into making Christmas memorable. Especially in the in this country, the focus is cr of Christmas is on spreading happiness. From what I can read, Christmas is much more of a festivity concerned with religion in Western countries. But I digress. I haven't spent fam I haven't spent Christmas with my family in a while. And if you don't mind me asking, why's that? I, Yuri looks away, picking at her sleeves. I notice that she tends to do that when she's upset or nervous. They weren't around this year. Oh. I don't know if I should feel sorry or pity her, but... Well, I can relate to that sometimes. There's a pause. I feel like there's more to her answer. But then again, instinct tells me not to push it. The Christmas period was very lonely, as you could imagine. Going shopping with you, exchanging gifts, playing with all of the club members, it was truly the highlight of December. Although it was only temporary, when I got home, I took out the peace, the peace lily that Natsuki gave me. It was such a thoughtful gift, but it was also bittersweet. That would have been the type of present that my parents would have got me. So, while it was lonely to receive the plant, it was a reminder that my parents weren't the ones who gave it to me. Hey, Yuri. I had no idea you were so lonely. If you'd told me this earlier, I'd have loved to spend time with you. As friends. I had really fun when we did our Christmas shopping. You were really good company and gave really useful advice. Well... You and Sayori are a couple, and the last thing I'd want to do would be to intrude on that. I wave her concern away. Yuri, Sayori and I both like you. You're our friend. You've seen how Sayori makes it her top priority to ensure her friends are happy. It's not a problem at all. I'm sorry to bother you with my troubles like this. It's just that I couldn't really talk to the other two girls. Monica is constantly very busy, and Natsuki, well, our friendship has definitely improved since you first saw us argue, but not at a stage where you can be comfortable hang asking her to hang out? Yes, I've, I've always been quite solitary by nature, and while I enjoy time to myself, sometimes it would be nice to spend time with another person, especially as especially one as open-minded and considerate as you. Not that I don't appreciate the other club members, it's just that, well, I haven't really spent a day with any of them where it's just us two. And well, I think it's rather obvious that social etiquette is in an area I excel in. Well, hey, well, I'm glad you're comfortable around me to tell me all about this, Yuri. I know what it's like to be lonely. Last year, before I reconnected with Sayori and met all of you guys, I was pretty much alone too. I mean, I had classmates, sure, but we never really spent time together outside of class. Well, sometimes with me and my friends, that is, but uh, that's uh, a story for another day. A lot of my free time was spent alone, and then my parents had a divorce, so that made it a lot worse. So yeah, I hate for someone else to go through that, especially someone who's this good a friend. I give her a quick hug. Based on the look on her face, it's safe to say that she w definitely was not expecting it. Thank you, Finn. It really means a lot to me. 
Nothing to thank me for. It's what friends do. Like I said, we're just friends. Nothing else. Anyway, uh, what are you up to tonight? Well, given the semester has only just begun, I'm relatively free. I don't have any homework to complete. I also started this new book. It's very popular, so you may have heard of it as well. The story revolves around a group of children and their struggle against a supernatural homicidal entity which uses shapeshifting to exploit its victims' worst fears. It typically takes the form of a deranged looking clown. <laughs> Let me guess. IT? IT by, um. I forgot the author or the creator of that um, of that book or movie and such, but oh, okay, um, Yuri. Well, I mean, she likes horror, so there, yeah, there's nothing much to expect really because she 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 just really likes horror. Same goes to me, but not as much though. But still, <laughs> oh, gotta say, it it's a good movie. I I watched the movie but never read the book. It's still good nonetheless. Actually, I've I have heard of that one. The kids later go on to fight the monster as adults, like 20 years later, right? Hey, MC knows. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I watched that. Yuri's eyes light up. I've always been meaning to get into it. Ah, well, I actually I actually have a spare copy. If you'd be interested in reading it. Oh. Well, that's a coincidence if I ever seen one. <laughs> well, especially if you watch the movie, then that's good. Sure thing, I'll let you know how I'm finding it, if you like. If that's something you'd want to do, that would be lovely. Well, this is me. Ah, uh, okay. I guess Yuri was really engro engrossed in our conversation. Now that we're here, there's a wistful, sad look on her face that she tries to hide while turning away. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, and th thanks for letting me walk with you. It's nothing, Yuri. Thanks for the book. I'll get started on this tonight. I'll look forward to hearing your thoughts on the first few chapters tomorrow then. He turns and leaves. As I absentmindedly watch, old, watch her walk down the street, I can't help but wonder if there's anything more I could do for her. In some ways, her situation is like Sayori's, both girls struggle, struggling with an invincible adversary, and I was totally oblivious. Given Yuri's solitary nature, I suppose it was easier to see. I wonder if Monika and Natsuki are struggling with anything as well? Given the latter's prickly nature, I don't think she'd ever tell me. And with Monica, seems like she's under a lot of pressure from her parents and teachers. This club isn't exactly the epitome of happiness, is it? Well then, um, uh, guess that's something, and yeah, seems like some of the, uh, the club members have been struggling for a while with their problems, so... Uh, I completely understand that. We some uh, some of us are really stressful at some point. Oh man, especially me right now with my uh with my online classes and such. Well, uh, stress and hard work aside, we're going to end this episode right here, fellow knights. I'm sorry, but as always, there will be a next episode. And so far, so good. Now that me and Sayori are now a couple, that really makes me happy. And uh. <laughs> I have nothing else to say, and also for Yuri, um, I'm not down to spend time with her as friends, and for Sayori, I'm pretty sure she's definitely gonna cope up with her depression by going to therapy, but who knows in the next episode, so look forward to that one. So if you enjoy what you're watching and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already, it'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And of course, click on the bell notification to be notified. And if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Finn the Dark Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers.